Do you want to make a career in international business as a customs broker or as a customs house agent? Then this video is for you. I'm going to share the most important information relevant for your journey toward the license to act as a customs broker or as a customs house agent. Now, this process of getting the license to act as a customs broker, it is a two step process. Step number one, there is a return exam. And step number two, there is a viva. So according to you, which is the most important area, whether return is more important or viva is more important, nothing like more or less important. Both are equally important. You cannot appear in viva unless you pass the written exam. And you cannot pass viva unless you prepare for that viva exam itself seriously. Both are equally important. So why the coaching should not be comprehensive? So this batch number two, which I have written on the top, this is a comprehensive coaching program for this exam 2025. Right? Yeah. So no, if you pass the written exam, then you need to prepare for this. But is it the right approach to prepare for the VIVA only after getting the result of the written exam? Absolutely wrong approach. You don't get sufficient time to prepare for that. And what you need to prepare for VIVA, there is more a practice rather than learning. So you must have time for learning. So we, I have prepared a most comprehensive program in which the training for written exam, or rather coaching for written exam and training for VIVA. So this will be coaching. So this is subject based, law based. And this is training. Less about subject, more about practice. So this is the comprehensive program which I am going to introduce in this video. So please stay till the end and you'll get the most of the information required which you need for choosing a career. Okay. So friends, I told you that this is the most lucrative career, most sought after career which offer the best career growth opportunities in international business. And if you are eligible to appear for this exam, then you must not miss the opportunity. As of today, there is a huge gap between demand and supply. Act as a customs broker. Okay. So if you are new to this subject, please do not be misguided by the word customs broker. This is a license given by the government of India after conducting the exam, after conducting the VIVA. It is known as a customs broker, but don't consider it like a property broker. This is the highest prestigious recognition granted by the government to the person who passes through the process as an expert in customs law, in import-export. So that is a recognition certification granted by the government. It is called as a license, but actually that is a certification given by the government that yes, this person is competent and he knows the customs law, import export law thoroughly. Okay. So when a certification is granted by government, what is the value you can understand? CHA customs house agent, that is a concept which is commonly known in the market, but the legally this concept does not exist anymore. The concept is gone after 2018. Before that, it was customs house agent. Now, legally it is referred as a customs broker, but in the market, people call it CHA. Let, us, let it be. Now, that exam is conducted under regulation number 6 of the CBLR. So that's why different names are known CBLR exam or regulation six exam or CSA exam or custom broker exam. All these are one and same thing. Okay. Now let me tell you one by one what we are going to do in this batch number two. First of all, the batch will be starting from 1st July. Let me divide this in two parts. This is a regular batch. And there will be a revision batch. Revision batch is complementary along with the regular batch. This is complementary. Regular batch starts from 1st July. 
24 up to 15th of December 24 and this is from 1st January 25 till 28th February 25 this is complementary along with this in the regular batch again monday tuesday wednesday thursday these are subject based classes 8:30 pm to 10 pm and on friday there is viva training timing will remain same 8:30 to 10 pm saturday there is no lecture no training this day is given to you for revising whatever has already been done in the in the five days if you have missed any class go through the video and ensure that you have completed or you are up to date every sunday there is going to be a test and for test also time remains same 8:30 to 10 so you are going to block your time daily 8:30 to 10 this is the time chosen because most of the people who are appearing for this exam are working professionals and i'm going to describe the qualification required so if you are new to this profession you'll also get to know why we have chosen this time this is the most appropriate time by the time you are back home and you have time to go through and by chance if you miss the class every class is being video recorded and the video is given to you on the same day you can go through the video as well okay so this is what the class is going to be and then this is revision in the revision we will complete the entire syllabus so what syllabus i am going to cover up that i am going to describe and the eligibility for this exam right please always keep in mind that this is one of the most lucrative career in the international business it gives you opportunities to travel in number of countries it gives you opportunity to become an exporter by yourself and to grow your business up to any level there are custom brokers who are working with two employees there are custom brokers who are working with 200 employees at the same time there are people who are working with single office there are people those who are working with 10 or 15 offices across the country so once you qualify once you enter into this profession sky is not the limit for your growth sky is not the limit right so first of all eligibility friends what i'm doing on the board my class also happens exactly same way everything is on the board everything is through the chart so eligibility is again divided in two parts those who are professionally qualified and g card holders the g card itself is another recognition or certification granted by the government of india under the customs law and this person is actually the person who is assisting the customs broker so once a person holds a g card plus he is having two years experience he can appear for the exam for f card or regulation 6 exam or customs broker so f card is a like, again that is an identity card issued to the customs broker G card is also an identity card, but this is given to the employee of a customs broker. And for G card also, there is another exam. So if somebody is a G card holder, the first requirement for uh, appearing for the customs broker exam or F card exam, the number one, he should be a graduate. He should be a graduate. 
So if he has not completed graduation, but he is holding the G card, maybe for five years, maybe for ten years, he cannot appear for this exam. So though all those who are G card holders, please ensure you have completed your graduation and two years experience after issue of G card. So two years experience is required, but after the issue of the G card, before that, even if you have worked for five years, 10 years, 20 years, that doesn't make a difference. Two years experience is counted for the purpose of F card exam or custom broker exam only after the G card has been issued. So the G card holder, he must have been a graduate plus the two years experience must be completed after the issue of G card. That is one. Okay. Now in the professional qualification, let me put it again in two parts. So either you are CA or CS or CMA or you can be LLM or MBA. Now these three qualifications can be completed even without graduation. So here let me be very clear that even if somebody is it has completed this qualification but he has not completed graduation he is not eligible so again i am writing the word graduation okay now these are certainly postgraduate qualifications so need not need not write the word graduation there on llm certainly masters mba that is also master so in, in these courses you can have uh, take admission only after completing graduation so there are no need to write it again in this course, three courses, it is compulsory to have, be, have the graduation because for, uh, any student can appear uh, in the entrance exam for either CA or CS or CMA after completing 12th and then he, is, he can complete the qualification also without completing graduation. So here the graduation becomes important. In this, the degree itself is enough, right? Now, when it comes to MBA, only requirement is that institution or the college the, must be AICT approved. Okay, and this may be part time or regular or online, anything is okay. On any subject is okay. Maybe HR, maybe finance, maybe international business, or in supply chain management or logistics, whatever you can think of. As long as your result or the mark sheet or the degree is, is having the word MBA, that is good enough. Now, the next question goes whether PGDBM is eligible or not. Yes, PGDBM is equal to MBA and he is also eligible. So, PGDBM. This is equivalent to MBA. So, they can also appear for this exam. Now, once you are eligible, then how to appear in this exam, what you need to prepare and how to get the license to act as a customs broker and what are the career opportunities. Okay, so we have taken the note, good enough, otherwise take a screenshot. So after watching this video, you can go through some of my videos of the classroom and you will find that coaching exactly goes in the same fashion. So for everything, there is going to be a chart, everything is going to be on the board. Okay, so that, that makes the understanding most clearer. And once you are eligible, then how the process of the exam is. So there is an announcement for this exam. This is necessarily August. So this is the annual exam only once in a year. Form submission. This is usually September or October, September, October, and sometimes it is given October, November, depending upon what is given in the notice. Now, majority of the people commit an error in the submission of form, and once the form is rejected, there is no reason for rectification. No time is given for rectification. So we will help you to submit the form itself so that it is not rejected because of some technical errors. And then there the list is published. This list is usually published in November or December. This is the list of the candidates whose forms have not been rejected or those who have been accepted. 
these are the candidates who will appear in the exam exam will be in the month of march rather law says first quarter of the calendar year but actually or practically whatever we have seen for number of years this is always in the month of march and in the month of march also second fortnight or you can say between 15th and 30th usually the exam is conducted the result for this exam is in april generally within a period of one month result is given then the viva for viva again it is said in the second quarter of the calendar year this is again in the month of june towards the end and the result is also there result is also june or maybe july and then comes license so this is the process so in the month of july or, or rather in the month of august the notice will be issued inviting application so this is an annual feature so even if you are not aware of when the notice has been issued still we will get we'll, we know that the notification for the for inv inv inviting the candidate for the exam has already been issued submission of forms september october list two is issued in november december exam is conducted in the first quarter result is in april viva in the second quarter and then the result is declared license is issued now once the license is issued it is a lifetime asset lifetime asset okay so there is no validity of 5 years or 10 years associated with the license this is a lifetime asset so unless it is surrendered or unless it is revoked it is valid for the lifetime then once you have passed the exam then the next question is what are the career opportunities career opportunities are basically two ways you can start your own practice as a customs broker or you can join with any company or a firm right how you can join as a partner as a director as a employee all options are open and that is to be discussed in detail when we talk about the cblr regulation that is customs broker licensing regulation 2018 so two options are available okay and when you start the practice you are not working only as a customs broker it is not only related to the clearance of the goods lot many activities automatically get associated with this because every client want a single window solution either for import or for export so somebody gives you export assignment so that is right from picking up the material from his factory and until the goods are delivered to the client he wants a single window solution so all other activities are also given to the customs broker same thing happens in case of import so get the goods right from the place of the supplier up to the factory gate of this when of the customer in india again one single window solution is required so lot many activities that are associated with this your question may be now how much salary or income is there friends no limit no limit the sky is not the limit here i told you there are customs broker who are working with two employees and those those who are working with 200 employees there are customs broker who are working with single office and those who are working with 20 offices large corporates are also involved into this no limit and all big companies who are involved into the import or export activities india is already becoming manufacturing hub day by day and every three years export is going to be doubled so when the export grows import also grows simultaneously so when we are talking about manufacture in india make in india so first of all goods are going to come to india then that is there is an import then processing or manufacturing is being done in india then export so import and export are bound to grow simultaneously so every 3 to 4 years business is going to be doubled and the demand of the customs broker is consistently going up now you will understand why did i tell you that this is the most lucrative career in the international business and once you have worked in this area for 4 5 years you yourself can become a merchant exporter in a big way 
and merchant bank merchant export is only one thing there are so many other business opportunities you will get to know once you get into this so if this excites you please get in touch on any of these numbers right we i'll speak in detail now a brief back uh, uh, information about what is covered in this exam so this exam syllabus i'm giving only a brief reference i cannot go into the more details there are main subjects and there are ancillary subjects main and ancillary main subjects are going to cover roughly 90% of the exam ancillary subject may be 10% plus minus can be there so this is approximate percentage these are not given by the government in any case okay so main is number 1 the regulation itself cblr regulation under which this exam is conducted this customs broker licensing regulations 2018 number 2 the customs act a customs act is as such it is a small act but it comes along with the number of rules and regulations and lots of clarifications etc are required then customs tariff act customs tariff act and then foreign trade policy right all this required at least at least 200 hours of coaching in the classroom with more okay so don't think that this is something light or cblr regulation you can download and read you can read but understanding is far far beyond custom check a small act as a 161 sections only you can think of that yes that can be read for self study is dangerous in these professional exams this is one of the highest professional exams ancillary subjects which you must know pema foreign exchange management act because the import export is certainly involving the foreign exchange pema you must know in addition to that gst should be known little bit not entirely but little bit of the gst should be known particularly igst and then there is a long list of laws right so in the long list just to give you a reference ipr intellectual property rights and intellectual property rights we have copyright patent trademarks designs then we have ndps narcotic drugs and Psych psychotropic substances act then we have arms and ammunition okay then we have drugs and cosmetics so so many laws are there okay out of these multiple laws which one is going to be focused in one exam it is difficult to say difficult to say so we always focus on this 90% and fema as well as gst this portion we try to cover but no certain these will be covered most exhaustively most exhaustively no single book is available there which will cover it so exhaustively as we cover here in the classroom okay so for this now you may have some more questions with which let me answer here itself <clears throat> we will provide the study material in soft copy in soft copy number 2 classes these are online through the zoom app all classes are video recorded videos on same day and these videos will be accessible to you up to 30th june 2025 because after passing the written exam you need to go through the same videos again again for preparing for viva viva training is going on simultaneously with us then test 
every Sunday. This is during the regular course. Then twice a week during revision. And after revision, daily test. So before the exam, we will cover more than 50 tests, which will make you make it sure that you pass the exam. And how to ensure that, that you pass the exam? How to ensure? It is a three-step formula. 100% possibility of passing the exam. Step number one. Do not miss any class. Now you can certainly ask me a question that there are there are situations when you the class has to be missed. I told you that the video will be uploaded or made available to you on the same day. Maybe within one hour after the class. So there are situations when you cannot attend the class. Understood. But make it sure that before coming to the next class, you have already gone through that video. Number two, complete your homework. Some small assignment is given to you on daily basis and that you must complete. Step number three. Do not skip tests. If your participation in these activities is 80% plus, your success is assured. I am giving you a sort of assurance. Attendance in the class 80% plus, homework 80% plus, test 80% plus. So if you have done that, there is hardly any chance for you not to pass the exam. It is an assurance that if you do this, you will pass exam in the very first attempt. Otherwise, six attempts are there. Okay, but you will not require second attempt also. So I hope I've given you answer to all the questions which you can think of about this career. If you have a question, please don't hesitate to call me on the numbers are already shown here in and then I'll explain you everything in detail on one to one basis. And moreover, when you're going through the course, if you have a question at any point of time, any doubt, I'm always accessible to you. Thank you.